I'm gonna show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jamarcus Ison, born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. The CEO of Charlotte's first AAU basketball team. Just wanted to give y'all an overview of my life, who I am as a person, my coach career, my basketball career. Welcome to my video. I always had a, the love for the game of basketball. I started playing at an early age, the age of six. I was always that kid that wanted to play up my age, just so I could play with my brother. You know, growing up, you always got that role model, which was my brother. I always wanted to play up, be by his side, learn from him. Um, that was pretty good for me. Um, that's really, that's how I got better playing with him or playing against him. So he played a big part in that. Um, I actually played three sports, basketball, football, and baseball. I was actually good in football too, but once I got to high school, it was just strictly basketball. My high school career was pretty decent. My first three years went so good, but my senior year was actually my best year. We actually had a newspaper article on us. Um, Raquan Loan was a big part of that. Uh, seven footer came in. So they kind of got us back in our spotlight. We started out kind of slow, but we ended up tying for third or fourth in the conference and lost in the second round in the playoffs. So we had a pretty good run. I was getting recruited by UNC Pembroke, Elizabeth City, Mars Hill, Fayetteville State, and a couple of other JUCOs. Once my high school season was over, I started going through the recruiting process. My main target was UNC Pembroke, but things actually didn't work out with Pembroke. So I ended up taking the JUCO route. JUCO is really different. You have to really adapt and be ready. Um, for those who got offers and interest by JUCOs, it's really different. Um, I think you can handle it. It'll just be a, um, it's a test. So I can attend the Catawba Valley, located in Hickory, North Carolina. Pretty good school, nice gym. They actually had the best gym in the region, so that really pretty much caught my eye as far as JUCOs. So uh, once I left Catawba Valley, transferred to Winston-Salem State, things didn't go right that way, so I went to Queens. Um, I always, my, my main focus was just basketball. Instead of actually doing the school work and staying focused in school, my mindset was just stuck on basketball, basketball, basketball. So really, I was just stuck in my mindset with just basketball. So for y'all that's watching this video, stay in school, and just more than basketball. After Queens, I ended up playing basketball in London. It was very different. The experience was great. I loved it. The culture was different, really nice. The people was really different, really welcoming uh, over there. Some experience I will not forget. I loved the things of Coach K. Martin. I traveled over there with the USA uh, Select Basketball. Had a really good run there. The first game I had 28 points on the first uh, to start the tour. So that was pretty good. Um, really different. So uh, that experience is indescribable. Um, it was just a great experience. I loved it. Uh, like I said, I'll go back now if I could. But overall, great experience. So my life has been really a roller coaster, up and down. Um, losing my brother is probably one of the toughest things I had to deal with at a young age. I was 15 in ninth grade, and I was actually with my brother, so that kind of triggered me. Um, made me actually made me stronger and uh, wiser who I am. Uh, I look at things pretty different now. Um, I have a little daughter now, so that's my motivation. She's always looking up to me, always around me, daddy, daddy, daddy. So. She kind of keep me on my toes. Um, my brother asked me my motivation too. He's um, he really made reason why I have the job that I have. The go get a job, the solid. I'm really solid. Um, I like to keep my family tight around me. So really, my daughter, and my brother is my two motivations in life. Um, my brother's death was, was probably was hit me harder in my life. Like I had to overcome that adversity. So that was really tough for me. Um, I could say I grew from it, but. To this day, I don't think I'm still okay with it, but as far as like growing up and seeing things different, that made me a stronger person. My coach career has been very exciting. I started out at Jane Robinson Middle School. The kids over there was funny, they would listen, and that's what made me want to keep coaching. I was just part of, I was just happy to be a part of something. Um, that was my first year coaching. My second year, I transferred over to Rock River High School, coaching varsity girls basketball alongside with Coach Neely. That was pretty good. Uh, I liked it. Coaching girls is actually different. You just gotta have more patience. But overall, I liked it. Um, CEO of Charlotte Express. That's my uh, AAU organization. Like I said, I started out with one team, and now I have four. So I'm just all about elevating, helping the kids. I always wanted to start my own organization. Growing up playing AAU, I felt like it was good to just get back to the youngins and always be there for them. Um, for, for my players, me, I like to have a relationship with all my kids, even at the basketball. So life, like I say, life is just more than basketball. I also want to have a relationship with them outside of basketball. So that's pretty much how I am. Um, I was once asked if I could change anything, would I change it? 
You know, I wouldn't change a thing. My experience was great. That's the path I took. Your path might not be the same. I'll, my advice to you is to have a backup plan. Don't just think it's basketball, basketball, basketball. Have a backup plan, know what you're gonna do, have a vision. My vision was to get back to the youth, get back to the youth, help them grow as teenagers, make them see life more than just basketball, because life is definitely more than just basketball. So to my students, to my athletes, the sky's the limit, stay locked in, always have confidence in yourself and life, not just sports. Thank y'all for watching this video. That's just me and my life and what I went through in life, my adversity I overcame, my coaching career, my basketball career. Thank y'all for watching. Also, follow my AAU page at Charlotte Express underscore basketball. On the website, charlottespressbasketball.com. Thank y'all for watching. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever.